Uh, I'm a co-founder of a startup called Makers Lane. We are an online marketplace for custom and commissioned pieces. Uh, and I'd also like to thank Anna very much for the invitation to be here tonight. Um, so, I apologise in advance. This is a series of thought bubbles that led us to go down the path of our startup, Makers Lane. No better place to start than at a macroeconomic level, of course. Um, so, thought bubble around where the economy and the economic drivers are going, and they're going at an exponentially fast rate. So, if you think about, we've gone from an agrarian society to the industrial revolution, so that took a thousand years, that's been several hundred years. The last really 50 or 60 years has been around a service based economy. And the thought process is that we're now moving into an experience-based economy. All of these things are being driven by changes to the consumer and what the consumer is looking for in terms of their purchases. And in an experience-based economy, consumers are really now looking for authenticity in their purchases. They're looking for experiences. And quite a few people tonight have talked about that in their various different areas. So the education has been around experience. There's more of a, an emotional value exchange that occurs, and that occurs both at a consumer level, I think, and certainly very much at a workforce level. So, you know, the number of people who are now uh, having a portfolio of, of work experiences and things like that, the portfolio is being driven by value exchanges, not monetary exchanges, and I'm finding that a really interesting process. So, where do we see the future? Um, where are we punting makers lane, I guess? Uh, we're, we're seeing a future going into market networks. So if you think back to the last 10 years, really, we've had a flourish of new marketplaces that have occurred, market-based businesses that are very transactional. We've also had a huge rise of social media, which is very much about networks and connecting in a 360-degree pattern to people in a particular range of networks. A market network really brings both of those core elements together. Um, the change is really around the technology and how you harness workflow uh, in a broader network and in a market-based place. And it's really around longer-term projects, not transactional projects. Another key element of a market-based network really is that the service provider is an individual and they're differentiated. So the people are very important. Just to give a, a quick example of some businesses that are sitting out there to sort of highlight what I'm talking about, where businesses <coughs> that are clearly seen as more network and the more marketplace, but the new kids on the block are really sitting <coughs> in this market network space. And we think that that's where uh, the new businesses and the new large-scale businesses are going to come from in the future. And that's what we have ambitions to grow Makers Lane into. So, as I said before, Makers Lane is a community of people who make things. We are essentially a locally based regional marketplace model. So, all of our makers are Australian based, apart from one who's in New Zealand, but I count that. Um, <laughs> And we effectively connect uh, people who make things with people who want things made. Typically we work on project-based commissions. Um, some things are quick items, but most are bigger, more complex, project-based. Around 50% of our customer base would be in the professional specifier market, so architects, interior designers, and 50% would be what we think of as a retail market. So, broadly though, our customers are also being very driven by the experience. Um, they're looking to personalise what they're, what they're purchasing. They're wanting their story, their design, their idea, their concept. They're not looking to buy another thing from the market. They're not looking to buy what everybody else has got. So, in general terms, what we see is the consumer now has enough stuff in the Western world and what they're looking for is a more experience-based and emotionally valued purchase. 
the other part, I guess, of Maker's Lane in terms of that network piece is that we see that there's almost as much value in our business just in our community, in our maker community, and creating network links between makers in our maker community who are often highly fragmented businesses, small businesses. We're seeing a lot of opportunity in the future to create some value just in that network space. Thank you.